My name is Unite the Clans, and in today's episode, we are going to build this mini inn behind me, inspired by an Old West saloon, even with a pteranodon parked out front like a horse at a watering hole. That is what we are building today. Stay tuned. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and I am at my spawn house, and for a very good reason. This is a great place for us to start, and uh, I will introduce to you what today's episode is going to be all about. This is the Skyrim house build I did in uh, episode 2 of this Let's Play series. Get off the ground, fool. What am I doing? Crawling? Okay, perfect. So that's the place. This is my newest uh, creature. It's my newest dino. This is Beast. Uh, let's do that. And he is loaded up with a lot of stuff. Now, if I put this episode together the way I did, you already know what I'm talking about and what I'm planning on. But, uh, guys, we... I don't know how to explain it. This this is maybe a call out more than anything. Uh, right behind us here is the Maw. This is this home base for the crew on the Iron Mine server. This is sort of our central area. Now that being said, everybody's moved off to their own location, and that happened quite a long time ago, like way before I joined the server. But a tradition remains on this server, or at least it is supposed to remain on this server, called the Death Run. I will give you a card right now for my uh, first episode in this Let's Play series, and uh, you will see me do the death run, where I start up on the north shore, way, way, way ahead of us, just to the left of that mountain, and I run all the way down this river, all the way, almost all the way to the Maw. And um, this is a tradition, guys, that is not being upheld. We have a lot of people on this server, that have not done it. As far as I know, the crew who were here for the beginning of this, which is season three, I believe, on the Iron Mind server, um, everybody who was here for the beginning has done it. They did it as a group, and I have done it, but I'm not sure who else has done it. The idea is to start absolutely naked, uh, totally unequipped, no armor, no tools, no weapons, and run down here, and try and make it from the north coast to the Maw which is our home base, and that's a perfect thing for new people to do. Uh, but we have so many people on this server that have not taken part in that tradition that I want to give them a chance. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to head up to the starting point of the death run, and we are going to build a little motel, a little uh, starting point where I'm going to put some chests so that the people who are already on this server, who are already established, can head up there, drop all their gear in the chests, and then head south and head south down this river towards the maw and complete the tradition that they have so sorely not completed yet so what i'm going to do is look for a good spot now i had to make sure that this area wasn't going to be consumed by the upcoming biome update a lot of the area off to our left here is going to be uh it's going to become arctic the arctic side is going to expand and so we need a, a good spot but as far as i can tell both sides of this river are going to be safe um i see someone's got a base over there so let's try this side of the river and you know what that's either a good spot right here in, oh in the like nestled in those trees or we'll go a little further up the coast i'll have a look at this little area and we're gonna set up i'm gonna kind of build it on the fly but we're gonna set up and we are gonna build a little death run hotel the death run in all right i think i see our spot up ahead on the right i'm gonna clear out some of these big rocks i'm gonna clear out uh, some of these trees and we're gonna build it nestled right in that little spot so I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna clear out this area and I'm going to get uh, maybe the foundations down and I will come back to you guys all right guys so this is it this is the footprint of the hotel and I have a rough idea of what I want to do I want these first three here to be sort of a front porch and this to be the interior, and on the second level, the, it will be three by three. So we're gonna start with, um, I gotta figure this out as we go. Okay, let's run over to Beast, and we'll grab some of our basic supplies. Come here, big guy. There you go. So what I think I want is pillars. Uh, I don't see them. I know we got them in here. Let's start with a door frame, a door, and all our windowed walls. I'm gonna want uh, some more of the ceilings. And I think, oh, that's not right, I grabbed walls. That's okay, we'll grab some ceilings too. And I think this will give us the basics of what we need. I'm gonna do pillars here. Um, 
but we'll have a look. We'll see. So my front door is going to be, as far as I know, dead center. Uh, so let me have a look. We'll get the door frame on the bar, and I will throw this. Hmm. Let's have a look and see which way. Oops, I hate that. I think I want that texture. So we'll do it like that with the outer texture facing in on this level. And let's grab a couple of the windowed walls. And on the upper level, I'll have it facing the other way. So you are not right. You are not right either. Maybe if I come from this side. There, that looks right to me. Yes. Okay, perfect. The last time I did a build on camera, guys, was the blacksmith shop. And I, uh, I had already done a lot of the advanced work. I'd built the whole thing out of thatch, and we were just basically replacing pieces with other pieces. This one we're doing entirely from scratch, and I hope that it goes okay. So I'm going to have this, this sort of uh, front porch like this, and I, I hope this works, guys. I hope this is what I had in mind, but we will see. We'll keep messing around with it, uh, and I've got, I, th I think I've got all the building supplies we need sitting here in Beast. So let's see if I can find those pillars now. Maybe I forgot them. I hope not. No, here we go. Perfect. So I'll do that. And what I think we'll do is run the pillars through here and up and out that top section up there. So I want to get them as low as I can. I think that's perfect. And we'll do another one down here. And I'll do two more on the other side. And this should work out okay. I hope it will. We'll, we'll find out very shortly, guys. Is that the same? That looks the same. There are way too many snap points on some of these, so... We may get up there and realize that I've done those two pillars different, but we'll see. So I didn't really bring enough ramps to build one on the front, but we totally need one. Uh, but until I've got that part figured out, we'll just keep uh, circling around here. And so what I have in mind, guys, is a upper level with a bedroom up here. This is where you sleep when you start your death run. It's up at the top of that. So let's see if... Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have like a little bedroom area in mind, and I think what we want to do, if I can do it right, is put some windowed walls facing with the proper outer texture, like that. I think that's right. Yes, okay, so this is what the upstairs is going to look like. And yes, okay, I like it. Okay, now let's throw our wood walls on, and we can actually start laying out a bunch of the shape uh, for this place. I'm going to grab more of the walls. I'll see if I can carry all of them. And we'll just, we'll, we'll bring this thing together. Uh, it's really going to transform once I get these walls up. You're going to start to see the shape and the idea of what I have in mind. I think you're facing the right way. You seem like you are. And you are. Life is good. Okay, so we'll put you there. Put you there. Okay, and everything's going together just how it's supposed to. Which rarely happens in Ark. And lucky for us, the fog has lifted. It seems to be a curse of late. I've been talking to some of the crew on this Iron Mind server. And every time they sit down to record, it's like, uh, oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get, oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Okay, that's fine. Every time they sit down to record, this dang fog rolls in. It's brutal. It's such a pain. Uh, and it, it seemed like it was happening to me, but luckily it, it hit just as I was doing the old, uh, the uh whatchamacallit the the foundations and it lifted by the time i had to come back so that is the front facade of this place i think i like the way it looks uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and throw one of these ramps on the front here and that works that connects to the ground cool i didn't bring enough rail oh there you go i didn't bring enough railings to wrap around this front porch i'm not sure we need it though um so my plan is to have a uh, what is that noise? Is that a packy? They are so dang loud, don't they? Yeah, there you are. Every time I hear them, I think something big's coming for me. All right, so I, I wonder if I had planned on making this taller. I don't know, in my head, at some points I was picturing a three-story build, and at other points, I guess, I was picturing a two. We're going to stick with the two. Um, and what I think we need is... Uh, yeah, actually, I do have enough ramps. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one here, one here, and those are going the other way. I hope that's okay. We'll see how that looks when I get up there, and we'll put the other ramp, like, come on. Is there a lower position for it? Okay, I think that's okay. 
and we're out in the middle of nowhere at night so i hope nothing bad happens so this is going to be your way up into the upstairs i'm going to do a door frame here and in here we'll have a bed and some storage um and then i'm going to do walls all around here actually we might as well start that while we're up top and we want these to continue to go the Yes, that way. And I'm just going to do a little gamma, guys. This is going to help you see, help me see. It's going to make life easier. I'm just going to have to remember to remove it when the sun rises. Otherwise, everything's going to look washed out as heck. Uh, so this, this is all right. I think this thing's coming together ridiculously fast, guys. Let me throw up a bunch of these walls. I'm going to take my first episode break, and I will come right back with you. All right, freaks, welcome back. Uh, lucky for us, it is still nighttime. Uh, not lucky, but whatever, we'll deal with it. And um, I I think what I've done... Oh, shite. I hate when that happens. Okay, all right. I hate that. Okay, let me see if I can fix the problem there. I know I have extra walls. Perfect. But what I'm not sure is I definitely don't have extras of that sloped uh, wall. Uh, so we'll put you right there, and I'll see if I can hop into Beast's inventory and make up a wall real quick. All right, guys, that's the right piece, right? Okay, good. Now, what I'm thinking with this higher front, where it kind of slopes up at the front, this is going to have a bit of a Wild West Inn feel. And having, like, uh, this little balcony over here overlooking the downstairs, that's kind of, like, reminds me of a saloon. So I'm starting to like the feel of this. Uh, but we are ready, guys, to start roofing this mother in. Uh, and I want to make sure these all face the same way. It doesn't really matter to me which way that is. Um, but we'll do it the same as the floor. Uh, so let's start throwing these roofs on. And hopefully they keep lining up. See, that one almost lined up different. So we'll put you... Can, can I do this? Tell me I can do this. Okay. All right. Here. From down here, maybe. That's still a different way. Why would you do that? Okay, well, let's, uh, I mean, I'm really not that particular. I guess I say that, but then I am. I am really picky with the way things look. So that's going to continue in the right. I get it. It's because I did these ones the other way. Do I have extras? I might have extras. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, I don't even know how to fix that now. I think, okay, maybe we just live with it. Yeah, let's just live with it. Don't be a picky perfectionist, UTC. Be cool. All right, so this is going to work. This is going to work. Okay, so what we're going to do then is put some sloped roofs uh, up on uh, this section. So I'll grab those. I like it. Come on. This They get tricky too, I think. Come on. That's the right spot. All right, now what I'm worried about is actually getting up this ramp properly. There. Okay, let's make sure. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. Uh, I like it. So what we want is to, f to wall in this area and to put a bed in there. So I'm going to take my remaining door frame. And I think we're going to try and do the reverse texture here. So just do it like that. I think that's what I want. Uh, alternate them a bit. Like, have it different from above and below. And then uh, with walls, we'll do the same thing. I don't have any windowed walls left, right? I didn't think so. I didn't plan on needing more more of those than I've used. Uh, but you never know. If you're building, you get creative, you get inspired, and, and something strikes you, and you go, man, I wish I'd brought one of those or thought of one of those. There you go. So that's it. This is the bedroom over here. Sadly, these pillars are going to stick through. I don't know of a great way to stop that. And all we want to do is hide a bed and some storage containers in here. Uh, so the bed, let's get in this back corner, maybe up against this wall over here, if it's going to let me. It is going to let me. Boom. And the storage we'll put along this side too, so that there's room to get in and out of the bed and room to get out. You probably will never need two storage boxes. I think one can hold just about everything a survivor can keep in their inventory, but... Boom. And I'll put another one. There. I like. Okay, so what happens if you are a member of the Iron Mind server? You got you got some work to do. You come here, 
you put all your stuff in here, and then because there's a bed, you're going to be able to fast travel back here. You get completely naked, completely unarmed, and you set off. You set off down this river, and you keep going until you get to the mall. And if you haven't done it yet, as I was led to believe when I joined the server, if you haven't yet done it, you are not an official member of this server. So, Iron Miners, get your act together. Come stay in the Iron Mine Hotel. I got some finishing touches to do on this, guys, including a paint job. So if it's cool with you, I am going to take my second break. You get an ad, and when you come back, I will be finishing this up with some details, and, uh, and then we'll call it an episode. I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, we are back. I left my quets behind. We've dealt with all the building supplies, so I just came over here on my Terra, and I've gone ahead and put Death Run in up top with the Iron Mine tag. Uh, I've gone and added in uh, doors on both levels, and now I'm going to mess around with a paint job. I've got brought a ton of different colors, but what I'm thinking is that we're probably going to mess around with some of this brown, some of the parchment, and then either navy or orange for a little bit of color. Um, and one trick that I've found, because the sprayers... It's hard to know which region is which when you're messing with the sprayers. So I'll throw one brown paint on there. And then if I can come up here, I think, let's see. If you hit with this, then you get to kind of figure out what the regions are. So the brown might not make a big freaking difference here. Is that, I can't tell what region that is. Yeah, it's actually not going to make a crazy difference. It's just going to take it from the cracked wood texture. So we're going to want region 6 and region 1 uh, for all the windowed walls. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some brown paint uh, into, I think, this sprayer. All right. And so region 1 we got. Region 6 I got. And I'll just give that a squirt. And there you go. So I don't, this is not going to be the same pattern for the others, but I know I can go do all the windowed walls. Uh, I think you hadn't seen that door. I know. I don't know. Uh, I'll throw this on there. Yeah, it definitely does change things. I mean, it really sort of smooths out the texture. All right, so those are done. Those are all the windowed walls in the place. Let's switch back to the paintbrush, and I'll give this a hit, and we'll see. Region 1? No, it's definitely not region 1. It's... Or is it? Yeah, region 1 and region 6, I think. So that's 6. And that's 1. Okay, so it's the same. However, I have to remember to reset my stupid thing. Uh, so let's turn on region 6. And we're going to do all the wood walls. Which is a lot. It's quite a few. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do, guys, is paint the inner ones in a certain color, the inner beams, the, the things that aren't painted yet. I'm going to paint those in a certain color, and then I'm going to mess around and paint um, the, the ones on the outside. I guess there aren't ones on the outside, are there? I guess for some of them, for the windowed walls, they got them on both sides. But uh, I am going to run through and do all the walls here. I'll, I'll touch up. What are you? Get your head out of my inn, stupid para. And uh, I'll come back with you guys. All right, guys, I am back. I went with the simplest of paint schemes, brown and parchment. I added, I think, as I mentioned, the doors and a uh, giant billboard up top that says Death Run In. And guys, that's it. We're done. If you have found this video because you are looking for a... Uh, uh, a guide to building a little hotel well there you go it's done if you found this video because you're a fan of mine well thank you keep watching i love you and if you found this video because you were a fan of the iron mine server and the people who play on it you got to do me a big favor we have what i thought was a tradition on this uh tribe of doing a death run when you join the server you start up here on the north shore and you run down that river all the way to our central base on the maw now, I did it when I joined, but a ton of people have joined the server since me, and I ain't seen any of them do it. Guys, none of them. So, if you are a member of this server and you have not do yet done the death run, I did all the work for you. Come to the death run in, store your stuff, and make your naked, unprepared run towards the Maw. And if you are a fan of some of the crew, stay cool, RG. Don't mess with me. If you are a fan of some of the crew on this server, reach out. 
let him know, bug him, and give him hell. Say, hey, you ain't done the death run, and UTC wants you to. Uh, and as far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, if you have never done the death run, you aren't a member of the Iron Mind tribe. You just ain't. Uh, so, geeks, that is it. Damn it! Okay, that's it for this episode of ARK Survival Evolved. My name is Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, guys, <laughs> what's going on? Okay. Unite the Clans here. Uh, I am on our new server. This is the Iron Mind server. There's Cryo and uh, Lady M. What's up, guys? We're hanging out to watch you do your special yeah, yeah. run. Yeah, yeah. This is, I this guess, is an a, initiation. <laughs> a rite of passage. It's called the Death Run. What? Where is Lord Squishy? We killed the RG, but my Terra's frickin' gone. Shoot! There you are. Okay, life is good. Never mind. Good job, Lord Squishy. Good job. <laughs>